Twin Peed. It is snowy, but it is beautiful out here. Come by for all your needs. 975 South Highway 75. Snow chicks. I feel like we get snow chicks every week. How was the road from the post office? Uh, not bad if you take your time. Is there any cars in the ditch or? No. Thank you for Enjoy. Getting... <laughs> Amber Link, Cream Legler, Sapphire Gem, and Well Summer. Okay, this first box is Well Summer. So we will put them over here with the other Well Summers. Yes, yeah, so we got some Well Summers yesterday and they're super cute. That I went ahead and I added 10 more last week. Yeah, because they sold out really fast. So this is the Well Summer from the Hatcher. You can see that they have a chipmunk distinct pattern on their back. They have a yellowish pink beak and yellowish colored feet. And they're very sweet and docile. They're super cute. So let's put these in. It's a cute little box, isn't it? It's a cute box. Okay. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, and ten. Let's see what else we have here. Okay. So this is 15 and 15 amber link. So 15 in side two and 15 in side one. Come check them out. Oh, they're cute. They are cute. This is the amber link. They are a mix of an Isa Brown and a white Sussex. So they have a really light yellowish pink beak and feet. They have dark eyes and they're really fluffy like a salmon favorol but without the fluffy feet. This is going to be a really good laying bird and they're good foragers. So these are all pullets. Yeah, you're sweet. Amber links are about to go in the brooder and we've got to count them so there should be 30 all together. Next is going to be the Crested Cream Leg Bar. So 
So I received some last week that I've been holding for some people. And then I have these new ones that just came in today. So let me show you these. These are auto sexing. So they are a chipmunk look on the back. Again, they have more of a pinkish purple on their legs and a more pink on their beak. And sometimes they have little mascara lines, as you can see. So this sweet little baby is called a crested cream leg bar. And when they're born, <laughs> when they're hatched, you can tell if they're a boy or a girl. So if you look at the back, oh my God, this one's a little finicky. I know you're cold. So if you look at their back, see how they have the distinct chipmunk appearance? That's a girl. If it looked like that and the lines were very fuzzy and blurry and not so distinct with that dark brown stripe and the yellow stripe, that would be a boy. So you can tell them as soon as they hatch and that makes it easier for breeders and it makes it easier for consumers so they make sure that they get what they want. And this little guy is cold. It's actually a little pullet, but yes, she's cold. So I do have some crested cream leg bars over here. Some of my challenge with these baby chicks are trying to find what colors go in what brooder as you can see, so I don't get them confused and so I can label them and remember. So do you see this crested cream leg bar? Looks pretty similar to this well summer. You would not be able to tell them apart. Look at that. Very hard. So can't get them mixed up. Let's put this well summer back in there. Ooh. So I'm gonna put them with the other crested cream leg bars from last week. Yeah, you'll be a lot smaller, but you're awful cute. So this right here came in yesterday. This is a salmon favorol. Salmon Favorols are a creamy, kind of pinkish peach color when they get bigger, but as babies, they are solid yellow. And look at their feet. They are five-toed like a silky, and they have feathered feet. Isn't that cute? These are very popular. These sell out before I even get them in the mail. Yeah. So that's a Salmon Favorol. This baby does not want to be caught. Ah! This is a blue lace gold wine dot, and it's about a week old. Look how beautiful she is. She has the mask on her face. Yes, you're a beauty. What else do we have in here? This is a Lincoln Builder. They will be all white. This is a pullet. She will be all white and then have black around her neck and black underneath the back of her tail, and she is gorgeous. She has more of a grayish yellow appearance on her feet, as you can see, and on her beak. Yeah, you're so beautiful. These are the cream light bars from last week. You can tell that they're a lot bigger. Yes, she's got beautiful markings on her face, as you see. You're gorgeous. Who else is in here? onyx and it has some white on its belly and a little lightness on its face because you know they are a cross and you can tell it does have the five toes but it does not have the black skin so this is a derived version of the mystic onyx and we're gonna keep her for ourselves because she's gonna be a beauty yes you are so you don't always get all black with the mystic onyx you got this one and like i said she's beautiful but she looks nothing like the mystic onyx so this is the Mystic Onyx. They are all black and not in monotone. They have the black feet, see? And they have the five toes, or they should, as a silky would. Black skin, black eyes, yes, black tongue. They can have a little bit of brown as they grow up. Yeah. They're gorgeous. I'm back here behind my big shelving. This is the only place I could find another outlet to plug in the heat lamp. 
and make it safe. Also keep the RSVP birds back here. Some are in there because I have to take turns on who goes in what pen for what color, like I was saying earlier. But let's get these Crested Cream Leg Bars in this reserved pen. So I have to say pretty organized. When I get them in, I mark which pen that they're in and how much they are and what their names are. Most of them are RSVP, so it does make it kind of difficult for Jeremy to help me at all because I have an Excel sheet with everyone's names on it and their names are generally on many different varieties of chickens. So when they come in, I grab my spreadsheet, I bring it back here and I go through it with them. I put their chicks in a box and I mark them off. So this is the last one. These are called Sapphire Gems. So this is your sapphire gem yes, from Hoover Hatchery. So they are going to be an all gray bird and they're going to lay, yeah, hi, they're going to lay a large brown egg, but they're really good layers. So we're adding these, yes, to uh, help our customers with some really good layers as well as the amber links. They have gray and pink on their feet. Their beak is mostly black. They have some yellowing and they are gray on their back. Let me show you the difference in the Sapphire Gem and the Sapphire Olive Egger. So they're both gray. They both have white or yellow patches on their mouth and underneath their mouth. Yes, they both have dark eyes. The Gem has a black beak. The Sapphire Olive Egger has more of a grayish pink beak. This is the Gem. This is the Olive Egger. So you could tell their legs are different colors. Now let's look at their backs. The olive egger has a white patch on its head, kind of like a barred rock when they're hatched. This is the gem, this is the olive egger. They're very similar in color. They're very hard to tell apart, but that little spot on the back of her head helps. All right, I have decided I'm going to put these sapphire gems in tub number three back here because there is none in there that look like them that are all gray. There's the yellow salmon faverols and there's the crusted cream leg bars. Then there's some that are older from last week. I can tell who they are. They aren't solid gray, so I should be totally able to tell them apart. Let's go back over to tub number three. All the way over here. It's getting pretty full, but the customers will be coming soon. As soon as I call them, they all start coming in and picking up their chicks. So. Hopefully by the end of the day, I will have no chickens left. Amazing, huh? Sapphire, what are you? You're cute. Sometimes you get random chicks. So this is an extra, this is number 21, and I'm not sure what you are, but you're cute. Let's have a recap of all the chicks that I have up here at Beeline Feed in Mounds, Oklahoma this week. Salmon Faverall. 
seem like bar. Sapphire gem. Blue lace gold wine dot. She's a week old. Mystic onyx. She's a week old. Amber link. You're just a couple days old, huh? Amber link. Cuckoo Moran. Assorted Silkies. That one's really cute. Look at you. Well, Summer. Sapphire Olive Egger. Put a spot on her head. And that is it for today. It is March 11th. This is our second delivery this week of chicks. This is what I do every week. I get two. So I get a Thursday shipment and a Friday shipment. And then I fulfill all the orders off the RSVP. Let everybody know that their chicks are here. And then whatever's left over, I write down. And then it's free games. They all go into a Gen Pop pen. And I can let everyone know on Facebook that these are what are available. And generally by Saturday morning, they are all gone. And we clean the brooders and we wait all the way till the next Thursday to get more. Can't wait till next week. We are going to get some Kayunga ducks. So thank you so much for watching today. I really, really appreciate you. If you haven't already, please hit the little dingle bell so you're alerted every single time we upload new videos and hit that subscribe button. Hope you have a good day. Bye-bye.